design philosophy, if you like, is to do something from the shipyard's point of view, you know, appealing to to a, a, a broad section of of customers, but at the same time trying to avoid doing something too safe and too neutral. You know, I think the, mo the most unusual thing, as I'm sure you know, is uh, the asymmetry in, in not all spaces, but quite a few of them, which, you know, which enabled us to, to create less, less formal layouts, but at the same time giving it quite, you know, a pretty slightly edgy uh, and contemporary uh, vibe to her. You know, we use quite a lot of... Um, Texalium, that carbon fiber um, finish and sort of slightly angled and twisted um, surfaces, you know, which all had a sort of strong influence on the joinery with, and cut dime and polished stainless steel handles. You know, so there was a kind of language of, of um, emphasized edges and dynamic lines. It wasn't guided by an actual owner at that stage. This was that, you know, giving it an interesting approach, as not least also to complement the very, the very smart exterior lines of the boat, which were done by um, Giorgio Cassetta. This asymmetry, you know, we haven't done it everywhere, and I've explained, you know, that, how it gives this different kind of vibe and and informality but also it, it has some specific advantages or elements to it in terms of the way it, the way it alters and in some cases improves the sight lines that you get um both out to the exterior but also internally you know We applied it also the other particular area was the beach club where it was that kind of configuration of a boat with side opening doors shell doors and an aft door you know you're you're almost automatically drawn to a very normal t-shaped layout in those spaces so you know the challenge there was again to you know to just slightly disrupt that normal approach to uh to layout so, so you know, each of the in the end, all slightly angled, but each of the legs, if you like, of the T, had their own individual and separate function. I mean, in terms of other layout aspects, you know, there was also an unusual, almost two um, two equally uh, graded owners' cabin, plus the best nanny's cabin on any yacht. So I think all of those elements make her, you know, make her really quite different from from more conventional and many other sort of sixty-five meter yachts. The second time that we had done something like that, and I think at that stage, as far as I'm aware, anyway, we we're the only people to have, the only studio to have taken that approach. It may it may be adopted. Uh, a couple of times now, but I think I think that is that's the element of which we are we are most uh, excited and most proud. She was she was it is a great project. So um, I'd love to, I'd love to see her again when I can do it. Mm -hmm.